Good Saturday morning, everybody. Notice anything different? Just got my hair cut. Finally, since before the lockdown, the second or third or fourth lockdown, I don't know what it was. November 10th, I think, was my last haircut. Today is February something. 6th, right? February 6th. Saturday. I haven't even seen it yet. I just got home. You are going to see me see it for the first time. I need more of it up here. But this will be my last haircut of uh, the winter season, I guess. So my next haircut will probably be in springtime, right? And that means February, March, April, probably in April, probably just after my birthday, around my birthday, we're going bald for the summertime. And I gotta cut it around that time before my face starts to tan in the summer heat or spring heat, because once my face tans, I turn really dark in the summertime. So if I don't cut this early enough, I'm gonna have like a white top to my head and like a really brown face and everyone's gonna laugh at me, including you, don't lie. I know you're gonna laugh at me if I do that. So I have to cut it before my face starts to tan. So probably I'm thinking uh, around my birthday, probably around April. So today is Saturday. AKA car wash day. This is the day I wash our vehicles, usually. And it's really cold today. It's minus 26 Celsius outside right now. It's going down even colder. And it's a good time to wash your vehicle. Some might say no, because your doors and locks might freeze. That is a risk. However, when it's gonna be cold, like it's gonna be for the next week, your vehicle's not gonna get dirty right away again. So it's good to clean it now before it gets even colder, because it'll stay clean longer. You know what I'm saying? As soon as the temperatures go back down to around the freezing point, like around zero or warmer, minus 10 or less, the roads start getting really messy and your vehicle, you can't keep a vehicle clean at all. You can't even go down the street without it getting dirty. So this way, it's supposed to be cold all week. I'm gonna wash it now. I'm gonna watch the doors so that they don't freeze, <laughs> hopefully, and, uh, and it'll be clean longer. We used to have a heated garage that we could park them in at our old place. But for the time being, we sacrificed that for our future house that we're going to build. We are going to have an indoor heated garage there as well and workshop. But it's going to be a few years before we can get there. We already have the land, as you guys know. Uh, we just got to, uh, we've got a couple of plans of houses that, that Britt has looked up already. I've sort of, uh, sort of let her be in charge of picking up floor plans and stuff because she's really good with that stuff and all of her ideas are pretty much exactly what I want and I'm not too picky all I want is I, I want a covered porch in the back that's what she wants is I want lots of windows facing south so that we get lots of sun with shades that we can close the windows in case of like you know we don't want the sun I want a covered deck in the front to drink my coffee on in the mornings in summer and I want a heated attached garage two-car garage at least maybe a three-car I'd like to make it a three-car if we can pull it off and make it look good sometimes people add three-car garages onto their house and it totally doesn't look good with their house so we'll see at least a two-car garage and it'll be heated and that's all I really want I'm not that I just want a good home to live in and I, I want to I want it to be something that we put together ourselves you know anyways for the time being we're living in our uh, small little house we call it our closet but we really like it. It's perfect for us right now. It's just me and her. We don't have kids yet. And we're still trying, but uh, we're what we have right now. It's perfect. The only downside is that we don't have a garage to park our vehicles in on Saturdays, AKA car wash day. So in the winter time like this, I've got to be careful. I know I risk my doors freezing. I know that. But if I don't wash the vehicle regularly, I risk, I risk because we use salt on our roads here up in Manitoba in Canada, if you didn't know where Manitoba was, since we use salt on our roads, the vehicles rust underneath and they rust quickly, right? So you want to make sure you keep washing it regularly to keep as much salt off as possible. Even if salt's going to be right back on there the next day, at least it won't be as much because at least you've washed the one layer off, right? That's my mindset anyway. So you want to try to take care of your stuff. You want these vehicles to last as long as possible. I want to look good. I don't want to be driving a rust bucket in 15 years. I still want to be driving a a good and decent 2016 Chevrolet Silverado that's got a 
got a great body on her still, you know? I always fill up the tanks right away on the weekend as well, so we start off the week on a good foot. This is all if I can. It's not a rule that I do these things, but it's a rule that I try to get these things done on Saturdays. That way tomorrow I, I get all my weekend work done today, so tomorrow I can just rest and just sit around, relax, watch TV. I got a funny story about, uh, I already washed the terrain today. I got a funny story to tell you about that in a second. I just gotta go pay for this first. All right, let's get this bad girl washed up, should we? Shouldn't we, should we, shall we, shall we? Yes, they're gonna laugh because I'm back. <laughs> Wait till I tell you this story, it's kind of funny. Wonder if they're gonna recognize me? <laughs> yeah, they recognize me in here. <laughs> okay, so here's the story. Uh, I went to go pick up a few things at Walmart. First of all, I dropped Britt off at work this morning so that uh, I could keep the terrain at home, keep it plugged in so that it doesn't sit out in the cold uh, all day long. And then I went to Walmart and I got a few things uh, that I needed from there for work and uh, other things. Anyway, so I figured I'd wash the vehicle on the way home, wash the terrain, right? So I'm sitting in here right where we are right now where they do the pre-soak and the pre-rinse pre -rinse and pre-wash. And uh, there's a lady in a car in front of me who, uh, I don't know if she left it in a reverse or what happened. Because I, I was just looking for my receipt at the time and I was looking around over here because these guys were busy washing my truck, right? All of a sudden I feel a thunk And I'm wondering, what in the world just happened? The car wash was so foggy in here at the time, I guess because they had just like opened the, the doors to let us in and all the cold air from outside rushed in, met the hot air from inside, turned into a big cloud. So she couldn't see where she was exactly and the machine couldn't see where she was. I think that's what happened. So it started off, the machine told her to back up because she had gone too far. Uh, so she started backing up, backing up, and she didn't, I guess, know how far to back up. And she just kept going, kept going until she hit the front of our vehicle. <laughs> she felt so bad. And there was no damage to either vehicle. No damage to our vehicle, no damage to her vehicle. We got out, we looked at it. We had to fill out a little incident report with it because it happened within their facility. So they want a, a record of what happened. And I just kept backing up until she hit me. Scared me at first, but thank God there was no damage. I, I looked over, I went over the vehicle with like a fine tooth comb after that and wasn't even a scratch, so I got very lucky. I guess she got very lucky, because it was her fault. <laughs> but, yeah, who knew you'd get uh, into an accident in the car wash? Made my Saturday a little more interesting anyways. I mean, what can you do, right? Accidents happen. And it's not like she like floored it in reverse. At first I thought maybe she left it in reverse and didn't realize because it was so foggy. I mean, maybe that is what happened and she didn't know she was moving back. Because literally you couldn't see the walls. You couldn't see anything in here. It was bad. Uh, they've obviously fixed that problem now because it's not nearly as bad now. But yeah, whatever the case was, that was my story. A lady backed up into me in the car wash. This is the same car wash that attacked me the one time. <laughs> that was the automatic part. That was this part. Kept hitting the front of my truck. And I told you, these, the owners here are so good, they, they fixed my truck for me like right away. So, uh, that's good people here. I always come here. This is the Super Splash in Steinbeck, if you guys are wondering. It's a good car wash to come to. Just if you are in here, remember to put your car in park. Put your car in park or whatever happened there, just Watch out, there's somebody behind you most of the time. If you back up too far, you might hit them. I thought for sure the bumper would be cracked at least, but no. Solid GM, like a rock. I love car washes. It's like a massage. I gotta put my seat cover on the back here again yet. I washed it, that's why it's here in a big clump. I washed it and then it's been so cold out I just threw it in here and left it. And that's for when I take Diesel or Chevy or one of the dogs with me and they stay in the back. Keeps all their paws and dirt off my seats because they're light gray and they pick up every little stain. It's annoying. I need to get seat covers for the front too. They're just chamois my truck down right now. Oops, I opened the window. Why is my window open? Oops. 
This is seriously one of the highlights of my week. I'm sitting in the car wash. It's like taking it's like taking your, your loved one to a spa and just watching them get pampered. You know, it's a good feeling. I feel like I'm a good man. I always feel like a rock star when I leave the car wash when it's like minus 30. You get out of there, your car is just shining clean and it's just steaming. The whole car is just steaming. So that's right. I'm hot stuff. Ah! And I don't even got to take the long way home because my truck's not going to get dirty by taking the main route. Usually when it's a little bit messier outside, I'll go down the residential streets to get home just so that my truck doesn't get all dirty again. But today, if we can get on here, just let me kick her into 4WD. I might need to give her here a little bit. You're turning, you're turning, you're turning, you're turning. All right, we're gonna give her in a second here, as soon as Mr. Toyota here gets out of our way. Here we go. Ow, four wheel drive, spinning, spinning. There we go. It's the only thing, after you get out of the car wash on a cold day like this, you might look like hot stuff steaming your way across the parking lot but your tires are also a little slipperier at first. <laughs> All right, so my tasks are done for today. I got myself a new broom for the trailer at work so I could sweep out the trailer and keep that a little clean because my other one broke in half for some reason. I don't know my own strength sometimes. Broke it in half while I was sweeping. I'm a very aggressive sweeper apparently. Got one of those. Uh, I got a new pillow for my for our bed because we're sleeping on a smaller bed right now and I have a king size pillow. And I'm pretty sure I keep uh, hitting Brit in the face at night when I adjust it because it's too big for the bed we're on right now. So I got a smaller pillow. Uh, and I got some softener salt for our water softener. It's a big day. Oh, and new deodorant. Figured you should know that. Some of you need some yourself, don't you? <laughs> Maybe not you, maybe not you, but you all know when you work with the pub. There's a few people out there that could use this. I'll just leave it there. I bought some deodorant. I'm not gonna be the one you're talking about. Oh, and I got a Red Bull. Red Bull. Just for a treat for me. I don't have them very often. They're terrible for you. Terrible for you. Do not recommend them to you kids. Do not. But. I can't talk because I have one every now and then, but I only have about maybe one per month. I have two maybe. One. I usually stick with just coffee, but today was a special day. It's car wash day and it's minus 30. So I needed to treat myself and I, I really like these things. What? A man can treat himself. Both the vehicles are getting washed, so I wanted something too. Everyone else is getting a spa day. Just a little bit nipply out there. Just a little bit frosty. It's actually past frosty. It is ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously cold. These guys have to keep their outside brakes down to like less than three minutes. Get cold real fast, eh, Chev? Don't worry. After like two weeks, it should start to get warmer again. We're in the cold part of winter. We're in the part of winter that uh, you think of when you hear the word Canada and you're not from Canada. These are the two weeks of the year where it's about minus 30, about minus 40 to minus 50 with the wind chill, just solidly for two weeks. I thought we were gonna miss it. Usually it's four weeks, but the last two weeks were kind of mild. The next two weeks are gonna be cold. And that's okay. You'll just hear me talking about it a lot, but there's nothing I can do about it because we're going to get through it and then we appreciate summer even more because of it. I really think that Canadians enjoy summers more and we do summer better. You'll see us here in summertime. Everybody's always outdoors. As soon as it gets warm, you spend as much time as you can outdoors. There's a lot of camping. Camping is a huge thing as you've seen from my videos over the last 10 years. Anything that can get us outside because we appreciate it so much more because we only get it half of the year. Whereas other places in the world, you probably can't get away from the sun and you get sick of the sun. We like to enjoy it while we can because, you know, this cold thing comes around every year. Every We tried to stop it. We're still trying to stop it, but nothing we do helps. I mean, 
I drive trucks every day, I'm doing my part. Still gets cold every year. So Commander, how old would you say you are? Got my work jacket in there. Just having a party. Anyways, just a short little uh, short little update for you this weekend. I'm gonna go do some gaming, probably post it onto my other YouTube channel. Link is down below in the description. I have a gaming channel where I hang out with you guys there sometimes on the weekends. And uh, see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into there. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming tomorrow.